Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nittany Draws. I'm Nittany, and today I'm coming at you with a drawing in the gore style. Getting ready for some Halloween stuff, and I am very lucky to say that I have been accepted into an art show, and this piece is for that art show. You guys may have heard me talk about it a little bit in the past. Um, I, I think I talked about it in the vlog a little bit, and I definitely have been talking about it on social media. But I was accepted into an art show, and I was prepping for this art show for a long time. Um, I have three or four art shows in the month of October, so getting myself prepared for all of those things has been very difficult. Um, this piece in particular it was one that I really, really wanted to do, and it, or this show was one that I really, really wanted to do. and. I, I went about it in a way that I don't normally. So, thank you, Diana. <laughs> so what I did was I sketched the drawing out on junk paper, and then I outlined it with some black, but I didn't do a ton of detail work with it. And then I used a light box, and I traced that over onto a new piece of paper and then inked from there. And I am so happy with the result of that. I'm able to go in with a lot more detail on my second trial with the pen. Um, and instead of having to, I, I don't know, in, instead of having to erase everything and just get frustrated, I'm able to make the finishing touches and then move it over onto the paper that I'm happy with. So I'm really happy with the way that that worked out. And I'm, I'm probably gonna do that again. Um, this piece, is called Conjoined. It's two conjoined twins done together like a Frankenstein style. And I decided I wanted to stick with a very specific palette for this piece. I worked very hard to stay within that palette, which as you guys know, I don't usually do. I like to kind of venture around into different colors while I'm working. And this piece I did not do that with. This piece I stuck to a very specific palette and I did a good job of that. So. That's what I did here. Um, I did a lot of cross hatching and hatching in this also, which is something that I don't normally do. And I figured since it was Inktober and I'm not actually doing Inktober this year, I figured I would at least do some practice with my pens because my inking has definitely not gotten the attention that it used to over the last couple of months. So I uh, spent some time and, and really made this ink drawing really really good and I'm really happy with how the ink lines turned out. The ink ended up taking way longer than I had anticipated initially and I was getting ready to leave to go to my grandma's house and she doesn't have Wi-Fi. She lives out in the middle of nowhere and I knew I needed to get this finished and submitted before I left because I was going to be gone for the entire weekend and so by like the middle point of this which is about where we are in this drawing right here she I was like ah I need to go and I haven't even started the coloring yet and I don't know what I'm do and I just kept going with the inks because I couldn't stop it, it it's like addictive when you get really deep into a piece it just becomes addictive So if you notice, there's a lot more jump cuts than normal. <laughs> um, we have this kitten that we adopted in May, and she was teeny tiny when we got her, and she is now officially going through the monstrous, idiot, teenager, I hate you mom stage, and what that means is, is that she likes to lay in front of the screen, lay on top of my hands when I'm on the computer, lay in the middle of the recording area. So anytime that she lays down, I'm gonna try to jump cut through. I left a little bit of it at the very beginning just because I thought it was cute. But once you get past the beginning, I'm gonna try to cut most of it out. Um, she's kind of a nuisance, so I will uh, do my best with that. Now I'm starting the color, and the color, like I said, I stuck with a very specific palette, and what that palette is, is warm tones and cool grays. So I've got browns, I've got mauve, and I've got pink, and then the like uh, cool gray color I used as the shading color and as the background. And I love cool grays. Cool grays decorate my entire house. I love them, and I was really happy to incorporate them into this piece. Um, 
I had a very specific frame that I had in mind in order to put this into when I was finished with it. So I used that frame to measure the size of the finished piece. And I worked really hard to keep everything within the right color tone because the frame itself is, it, it's an unfinished wooden frame. And I used Copic markers over the top of the unfinished wood in order to partially age it in some areas and to give it, like, I basically I like colored it gray, but then I used multiple different colors of gray to give it different tones. And then I put a bunch of random bits and bobs from my beading collection onto the frame and decorated it that way. So the frame itself is also very intricate. So I, um, try to keep the colors in that same palette so that it wasn't going to take away from the coolness of the frame. It wasn't going to take away, like the frame wasn't going to draw too much attention away from the piece, but the same way the other way around is that the piece wasn't going to get lost in this frame. So I worked really hard on that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was a complicated piece because there was a lot of line work and a very small amount of space. So I guess that is a major part of it, but it turned out really good and I'm really proud of it. So I'm about to show you the grand finale piece here in a second. And when I do, I hope that you love it. Here it comes. And then also I'm going to put on the screen the location for this show and also a link down below if you'd like to go to it. It's going to be at 403 East Front Street in Monroe, Michigan, 48161 from October 22nd through November 26th. Um, the price for the piece is $55 and there are 23 other artists that are going to be there as well. So I would be happy to see you there. If I am able to see you there, awesome. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!